Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Slay the Princess, a, a love story that I refuse to play. <laughs> uh, I really uh, just I've been going against this game as much as I could. I'm trying to stick with my boy, the narrator, but he's uh, he's uh, he's not going strong. Uh, everyone else is uh, pretty you know i got real no opinions on the other voices right now but uh yeah we've seemed to essentially have uh, started over at this point honestly i've got all the same options uh for questions of things that i've already seen and said so yeah uh <laughs> uh let's just go to the cabin silently Let's not even you make engage. your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Yeah, we know. Before you go any further, she will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I wonder if it's going to be a different person We're not this time. Go through with this, right? Oh, She's we have the hero voice already. We're supposed to save. Oh, do I keep all the voices in between the runs? I ignore him. He doesn't know what he's. Shut up. Just go to the cabin. If it's a new person, we'll see. Uh, if it's the same the people the we've been talking to, bare. I'm probably the gonna ask some questions and here. And the floor, the blade let's is just, your implement. uh, yeah, let's let's take it with us. You take the blade just in the case. Shut up. Let's go. See who it is. Is it the same the girl? To the basement. Her voice. Can Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> just go down. You're still listening to reason. Okay, it is the first girl. And lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the bed. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. I don't know if it's necessarily her, but whatever the hands thing is, like they really want her, and all and of there the you are. Are you here to kill <laughs> all of the versions of her? So, uh, no, no, uh, -uh. <laughs> that's good. Uh, why no way? Don't even think about it. Uh, okay, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. Steal your nerves and step forward. I kind of want to just take the silent road and see what happens. But, uh, but no, I am here just to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it and then we can chat? She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Oh, she's a fucking threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. I don't even know who us is, bro. Like, maybe I'm totally down for this. Drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Honestly, bringing the knife and dropping it, I think, is a much clearer gesture of just not bringing it at all. Because the, she then sees that we're not hiding anything, that we're actively, you know, disarming ourselves to show trust. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Imagine I just beat the shit out of her with my fucking monkey paw. Against your better oh, judgment, Jesus. you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. I wonder... Ah, oh, man. I wonder if we did this before our memories got reset. If it would give me different options? Probably, honestly. But... So here we are. What oh, an well. awkward start to a relationship. <laughs> really? You're already going there, huh? <laughs> I was not I was not thinking that at all, to be real. Oh, she looked nervous. Yeah, it's pretty awkward a relationship. 
Are you coming on to me? That's exactly what I thought, dude. Uh, how would I get you out of here? Uh, I'm here because you're supposed to be the end of the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Uh, what's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here? Okay, we've talked enough. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? What's your name? She hesitates before answering. The princess. If she says the princess, I'm going to fucking quit. You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Okay, that was... <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of, kind of, sort of got there. <laughs> but, uh, but that was much more, uh, much more funny. I like that. I actually appreciate Note that. The lack That's of funny. Detail. You can't trust her. I don't trust her yet. Calm down. How long have you been down here? Too long. Okay. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter <laughs> how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Okay. Uh. Hmm. What do you have to say about that? There's people that I want you think that you're gonna end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to get my answers? <laughs> oh, Jesus, that face. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. Jesus Christ. Can we just all agree on, like, if you take away one thing from playing this game, it's don't stick your dick in crazy. Can we all agree on that? Like, as a, as a species? Thank you. <laughs> I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? I already asked that, you idiot! If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? No, but I've kind of seen it firsthand, sort of. Jesus Christ. Stop making that face. Deflect! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, these are all uh Okay. Uh What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information a secret from me. <sighs> Who is they, dude? No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Ah, oh, that's a tough one. Cause that's, oh, that's exactly what I'm thinking. But also, fuck. <laughs> you know what, let's try to get on our good side. Let's see what happens. Sooner or later, you'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. Hopefully sooner. Hopefully. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We could figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I've changed my mind. I don't trust you. Examine the chains. I'll see what I can do. I still have a few more questions before I decide what to do. Fine. What do you want to know? Literally anything. You bitch. Uh, how would I even get you out of here? A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. You're the one that We're started two people it. who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Okay, calm down. That's some psychologist bullshit. How would I even get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... And if there isn't what? Well, oh, you... we can always put that knife to good use. What? Is she suggesting we saw her ass? Her sharp eyes Bruh. circle on the edge of the blade. The fuck? She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Right? Right? 
I mean, to be fair, the guy from Saul that cut his leg off did survive. I think maybe, I don't know. I'm not hundred percent on the saw lore. She is, I'm sure of it. Okay. We've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. <laughs> I kinda, <laughs> I kinda wanna see her cut her arm off. <laughs> is that fucked up with me? <laughs> Probably. I'm getting you out of here, examine the chains. I'm going to keep you locked down here, uh, at least for a bit. Uh, we can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. Let's let's talk some more. I'm down that to talk. Like a pretty good compromise. I think it is too. Thank you, voice in my head, who is there to <laughs> make me feel better. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. Damn, she looks pissed. But I'm One sure. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Yeah, but if I don't actively make it harder for you, is that? Does that score any points at all <laughs> with you? And if you don't. Oh, okay. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Okay. You know what? Fair. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Ah. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. But if I don't kill her, the world ends. We've established that with the last loop. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I think I did get the achievement for... Fuck, I don't know. Maybe not. No, because I died. That's right. Maybe I do kill her. Fuck me, dude. I can't remember. Because... Because on the achievements for Steam... <laughs> okay, I'm going to metagame this a little bit. Uh, on the achievements for Steam, I did get a, an achievement for killing the demon bitch. And because it, it said that I brought her to the, the, the hand thing. You know the hand thing. Um, but I can't recall if I got an achievement for this one because I died at the same time as her and I started the loop again. Fuck, dude, I don't know. Um, I'm not, uh, you know what? Let's, let's play the game as intended. Let's get her out of here. Oh, for the love of <laughs> Narrator's not gonna like that one. Good. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Dude, imagine I, I'm like, oh, I'm getting you out of here. Oops, stab. You're making a huge mistake. Oh, I, I am well aware. I am well no, aware. You're doing the right thing. Shut up. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. I'm huge, right? Like in the mirror, when I looked at myself, I was this big Wendigo looking ass thing. And clearly I have the monkey paw, you know, but I don't. Well, no, I'm super weak, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because this bitch killed me with her bare hands. Yeah, I'm a They're pussy large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Yeah, the other one could. Maybe I can kill her and then free the other one, but if you don't That's have more the key, scary. <laughs> maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. There was literally nothing upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay. If there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? Eee, I kind of... <laughs> let's, uh, let's not dissuade her from that solution. <laughs> I'll be real with you. Uh, I'm going to go check upstairs maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there if not maybe i can at least find something to break you free or cut you out i'll be here yeah i know okay you attempt to make your way out of the basement but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut you hear the click of a lock sliding into place oh you son of a bitch is someone else here clearly fuck 
Hey, let me out of here. Try the door. Those are both explore options. My only real option is to just go back downstairs, but I'll Your do these. and pleas are met with silence. Figures. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Damn, imagine it's the narrator himself out there locking the doors and shit. Like, he's actually, like, omnipotent. Is that the word? Fuck, I don't know. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. And I'll I'm a weak little baby man. Again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Okay. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. Bad news, girl. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Well... <laughs> I got a couple episodes that say otherwise. <laughs> Easier for whom? Yeah, exactly. Easier for everyone. Not the Pat Pat. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Uh. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You won't like what happens Ooh. if you do that. Ooh. Ooh. Please. Oh. Dude, imagine we just 180. <laughs> Fuck. Let's do it. Let's cut her out. I kind of just want to. Against your oh, better judgment, okay. you place the blade against the princess's arm just above the massive, unyielding chain. I regret everything. Holy shit. Yeah, that's something. Look at her fucking face. Unfazed. This bitch is crazy. You cut into her flesh. I can see that. The blade is sharp and you make Jesus. quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She's going to stab me with that, ain't she? She didn't so much as utter a sound. Dude, for real. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you. Her fierce gaze meeting your eye. Uh, How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. For real. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you know, I am officially scared. <laughs> that is insane. No. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. Oh, Jesus. As the princess <gasps> approaches oh, the no. bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. He's taking me over. Oh. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, warn her. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Stop that. <laughs> I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. That ain't happening, bro. Oh. The blade. Move. The. Blade. Oh my god. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. What? She's rational? <laughs> I'll make this quick. Oh no. She steps forward and pries Blood's the blade gone. from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. Aw, oh, come on! And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is Epic. the end, isn't it? I mean, just gonna respawn. Is, everything goes dark and you die. I hope it was worth it. I mean, it was pretty fun. Ah. Uh... Okay, chapter two, the prisoner. Okay. You're on a path in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting such a deja vu. Wait, this already happened. Blah, 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 blah. We already saw this. Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? 
What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. How the fuck has my inner voice just met me for the first time? Don't forget what he did to us the last time. Hey, around. this guy's I around. I not trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. Oh, okay. So he's down for her. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. Mmm, that's a good point. You know I can hear you two, right? That's it's also a, a good point. Than you think to keep secrets from me. True. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large? I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. I mean, you weren't very detailed, and honestly, the, I <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really happened. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Because Those I can't not do it. Questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Have I heard this conversation you died before? last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. The absolute irony. <laughs> Well, that's one way to put it, I guess. True. You really don't remember what happened last time, do you? You practically forced the princess to kill us. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd do, <laughs> which is honestly all the more reason for you to not buy into whatever self-delusions the three of you are crafting. But this is a thought experiment, so I suppose I'll continue to give you the benefit of the doubt. If I did practically force the princess to kill you, it was probably for a good reason. Did you try and free her? Did you say something really mean to me? <laughs> because if I really did what you said I did, you probably deserved it. I'm a professional, after all. A professional? A professional is getting paid. Who's paying you? Sure you are. Anyway, I believe your second question was, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. I mean, God, is that true? I mean, I got achievement. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. True. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Uh, I know for a fact different world entirely because of the princess is gonna change. What do you think happened after you died? Mm. The world ended, but it reset anyway, because I still met that first bitch for the second time. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? I mean, yeah. That's, you know, there's truth in that. Because if I do nothing, the world ends anyway. What a conveniently ambiguous group of things for her to ruin. For all we know, the princess left the cabin and never saw another soul. Oh, how I wish that were the case, but if the princess weren't a certain inevitable threat to the world, the four of us wouldn't be here. And yet, here we are. You're talking in circles. We're playing a video game in circles, brother. <laughs> no, I'm talking in facts. Okay. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Ooh, okay. We actually get to ask some questions about her. Who locked her in the basement? Uh, what is this place? Uh, the only reason she even was able to kill me last time is because I let her, and all she did was slit my throat. How is she supposed to end the world? Uh, let's just. She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. I don't think that's true. <laughs> you haven't given us an ounce of proof. You do know that, right? He's literally called the skeptic. What proof could you possibly ask for? Why? Why? Literally oh, anything. Dude, dude, it's for real. <sighs> Fine. Check your pockets. Pockets? What? You put your hands in your pockets the and an envelope with the words <laughs> The Evidence written across the front. 
<laughs> no fucking way, dude. <laughs> we just had this in our pocket the entire fucking time. I hate this. This sucks. Within, you find a note in your handwriting. It reads, The princess will end the world if you don't stop her. This is an immutable truth. Oh, I don't know what immutable was <laughs> means. <laughs> but... That also isn't any evidence. That doesn't prove anything. For real. How do we know you didn't just forge our handwriting? That's a good point. You can't control our bodies. We fucking found I that wish out. I I could tell you more, but there are some rules I have to follow for all our sakes. Please just trust that these rules are in place for a reason. I'm on your side. <sighs> God. You mean you're on our side as long as we do what you tell us to? Yeah. Exactly. Because you not doing what I tell you to do means you're putting the world at risk. Why does this motherfucker even want to save the world? If he's just a voiceless nobody, like... I think we've got everything out of him we're gonna get. What skin has he got in the game? Okay. Who locked her in the basement? What is this People place? locked her in that basement. Oh, okay. I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. It's very overcomplicated. <laughs> Time travel fucking paradoxes. This this whole thing is fucked. Uh, if people locked her away, why can't they slay her? Why is this falling onto me? Uh, you're being cagey. <laughs> what are you not telling me? Uh, yeah, Look, I think I asked this question before. I'm not supposed to say this. But I'm special, yeah. Because, Prophecy, blah, blah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Of course you're Shut special. up. Uh, yes. Right. We're here because we're special. Yeah, exactly. Look, you're annoyed that you're here. I get it. I'm also annoyed that I'm here. But we're all in this together, and we're dealing with a bit of a ticking clock right now, so please just get to the cabin. Uh, why are you being. What are you telling me? I told me? you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to trust me here. Ah, damn it. Great. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. We are getting zero answers. Let's just go. A warning before you go and she Shut will up. Lie. I yes, know. Yes, yes. Don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. <laughs> a wink. Did you just say wink out loud? I mean, technically, no. It was in his uh, head, right? No, I didn't. Wink. Okay, you can stop that and shut the fuck up now. Just ignore this clown and focus <laughs> on the princess. Okay. Let's go. Let's try this. Round two. The interior of ah, the here we go. is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor. A pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. We already know this. this whole cabin is a lot different from this time. Approach the mirror, take the blade. Let's just go to the mirror real quick. You walk up to the wall next to the base. What Very are you talking cool. about? This isn't a wall. The mirror. It's a mirror. We know. Wipe away clean. You reach it's forward gone. and rub your hand. But there was a mirror. And now Excellent. It's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should mm. keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. Mmm, that's an interesting take. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take the blade again. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the good yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. Very good. Thank you, sir. I'm starting to like this guy a lot. If he didn't say wink out loud. Let's go going. The door to the bitch. basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, 
dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Let's see if it's a demon girl. I don't think it will be because she is... Because we actually managed to kill her. So I think she's with the hand thing. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. That does sound like a new voice to me. Does she remember us? I don't know. You walk down Haven't the stairs met this and one lock before. eyes with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Okay. So much for cutting her out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, that thought didn't even occur to me, but uh, yeah, that uh, that makes a lot more sense now. You hear yourself right now, cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Okay, calm down. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. Okay, that's a weird thing to point out. I didn't even realize. Is she going to try to lock me in there? That was there last time too, wasn't it? Mm, I think so. There was to this one, but it was broken, right? I thought that was it, but... It was. Okay, I'm just straight up stupid. Cool. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Hmm... I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just gonna leave her here. She can starve. Leave the princess in the basement, sit with her, slay her. Uh, it's a new one. I kind of want to kill her. <laughs> I'm kind of... Uh, I think I'm gonna do that. Like the new prince, if I need to meet a new bitch, she's gotta die first so I can see what she's capable of. So that next time when I talk to her and everything, I think that's the play. Without a moment of hesitation, you charge the princess, your blade primed to deliver a lethal strike. Hmm. Hmm. I am not a damsel to be helplessly murdered. Yeah, we know. As you move to strike the princess, Yo! she stands, her chains clinking as she wraps them around her fists. Fuck, oh, I didn't think she was gonna use them as brass knuckles, bro. In an instant, they're around your neck, both of you drop oh, to the ground as she no. pulls them taut, bracing her body against yours as you struggle uselessly. Just stab her! Drop it, or you die. I thought this was gonna be a safe move, but she's gonna kill us. Just listen to her, do what she says. How many times did I warn you she's not to be trusted? But while strangulation can be very distracting, she's not armed, and you have your pristine blade. End her before she ends you. Okay, interesting choice here. Mmm, yeah, let's double down. You steal your will and refuse to give in to the princess's demands, ignoring the stars dancing in your eyes and the screaming of your starved lungs. You strike. You fumble your first few attempts, Damn. only making surface level scratches and gouges as your arm flails forward, barely able to obey you. I got some blood on my cursor. But a single focused blow oh! was all it took. Your blade pierces up through her ribs, slicing through flesh, striking her heart. I didn't think I was gonna do it. Do I die? The chains loosen. Hold up. The darkness creeping in at the edges of your vision subsides. Oh, fuck. I just realized the flaw with my plan. Because <laughs> if they die, if I'm successful in, in killing them, uh, they don't show up anymore. <laughs> oh, well. It was nice knowing you, was dumbass. Very fair, was it? No. But I did kill you last time. I should have expected you might want some petty revenge. Well. Unfortunately for you, that means you've dug your own grave. You can forget about me ever helping you again, even if it damns us both. Okay. Well, 
Hopefully, this will reset everyone's memories. And just like that, the princess is slain hey. and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. Actually, I don't like this. Yeah. It's too easy. <laughs> I was like, wait, what reward do I get? Hold it up. It's not too easy. We almost died. I mean, calm down. That's right. This was an incredibly difficult task, and you performed it admirably. She just had me with a little auto-erotic asphyxiation. Well, not auto, I guess. Anyway. Let's just get out of here. I don't like looking at her body. Plus, he said there'd be a reward. I'd appreciate a reward right about now. Same. You have the attention span of a fly. How are we supposed to unravel the mysteries of this place if you're so easily distracted by empty promises? I just want to fuck go home, dude. <laughs> it's better to have a short attention span in a situation like this. There's no use dwelling on the past, especially when it's already set in stone. Okay. And especially when your promised reward is not, in fact, empty and is worth all the adversity you've been through to get here. I don't know about that, but, uh, how, well, I mean, it's not like they're going to have a, a parade for me in town. Look at me. I'm a fucking monster. Fine. But if we're leaving, then we're taking the blade. I feel exposed without it. Mm, okay. With your work done, you remove the blade from the princess's corpse and make your way back upstairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. You can think of it as sealing yourself off from an unpleasant chapter of your life. It's all uphill from here. Isn't that hard? <laughs> the windows. Do you see that? We used to be able to see the outside world from up here, but now it's just empty. Oh, is it like... Oh, the world's already ended outside. The, the cabin's Check just not... The, door. the cabin's just not affected? You open the cabin yep. door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. And? Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Okay, so he knew this would happen. Because he's not surprised at all. You don't have to act surprised. Oh, okay. We could see this vast emptiness through the windows. But if everything's gone, does that mean we're not going to get our reward? <laughs> What a child, this man. This is your reward. An eternity of bliss, if you'll have it. And I suggest that you have it. Oh, what an asshole. Okay. This is what's <laughs> best for everyone. Trust me. <laughs> Just go back inside. Well, Like hell it is. Yeah, what the fuck? That's bullshit. Let us out of here. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty okay with this. <laughs> I was kind of hoping uh, we'd get a better ending for saving the world. <laughs> I also was kind of hoping it was a better this isn't ending. An ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No, this is the beginning of eternity. Your reward, like I just told you. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. God, that is so fucking concerning. Decades? <laughs> no, it can't be decades. We can't go along with this. We can't let him win. Okay. Uh, didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy we're happy. What do you suggest then? Uh, I don't want to die again. I don't like dying. I didn't like dying last time. I'm going to accept my reward now. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to accept my reward now. What do you suggest we, we do? Still have a blade. Let's use it on ourselves and start over. Ooh. Interesting thought there. You're suggesting you kill yourself. You shouldn't kill yourself when you have an eternity of bliss right in front of you. Mmm. Mmm. Continue you the game. You spiteful bastard. Are you really going to turn down immortality itself just to make me lose? Yeah, I don't want to fucking live here forever. 
That Why sucks. should it matter if we die at this point? Haven't you already gotten what you want? True. I don't have to answer that. <laughs> okay, well then fuck That's you. That's all we needed to hear. Exactly. You raise the blade, then drive it into your heart. Excellent. You collapse to the floor, everything goes dark, and you die. You're a genocidal maniac, you know that, right? I mean, that's kind of like what you told me to yeah. do. We'll see about that. The Grey. Okay. You're on a path in the woods. See, that wasn't so bad. And now we've got another chance to get to the bottom of things. Bit by bit, we're starting to unravel this place. Yeah. There are so many more threads to pull once you stop feeling. Okay, this guy, this fucking guy is not on, on my fucking... <laughs> oh, I don't like him at all. That's a little dark, buddy. You feeling okay? I'm feeling nothing. And I like that just fine. It's literally... God, this is literally just inside out. Can we just agree? Like Pixar... <laughs> it's just a Pixar movie with a little bit more blood. Just a little bit. So you've been here before. Of course you've been here before. What count is it this time? Two? Um... It's our third. What gave it away? Well, it's kind of our... Ah, uh, sixth? This is our sixth, right? Your open discussions. <laughs> the last time we were here, you were in full-blown denial about the possibility of us restarting. What changed? Have you just been pretending to forget? Oh, I'm afraid not. Whatever other versions of me you've met in those other lifetimes were just that. Other versions of me. I just wish I'd been the first. <laughs> yeah, he had it pretty easy. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, I literally followed everything he said. I <laughs> uh, killed her and then uh, she killed me, so. So you knew how all this worked. Why didn't you ever tell us? We could have used it to our advantage. Sure, actually. That's because there is no using it to your advantage. The more information you have, the harder it will be for you to succeed. Oh my god, is that true? <laughs> I, I think so, actually. It's not like it was that difficult to slay her last time. She may have put up a fight, but her flesh is still softer than our blade. Okay, calm down. Um, so... I've killed two of them. One of them was the easiest one, and then the other one seemed to be the fucking hardest one. So maybe it's all just and chill from dead. here. And I doubt she'll be able to do much of anything from the grave. Well, I don't know that first bitch cutting off her hand, not showing a fucking emotion at all that was okay you she might be the already slew her and you survived yes then why pray tell are you here oh i know that one we killed ourselves. good job fucking idiot why <laughs> because you thought trying to stuff us away in a corner for eternity was a suitable reward Okay, you know, I fucking don't like this guy, but he's spitting fire, bro. <laughs> he's shouting facts. Was it not? What better reward is there than eternal bliss? You should have been happy. No, brother. We were bored. Damn. Okay. This guy actually knows me. <laughs> there were still answers that we needed to find. Yeah. It was actually working. And you killed yourself. I can't believe it. You ruined everything. I mean, did we though? Because for all we know, killing ourselves or dying just sends us to a different dimension. So that dimension's fine. You know? I guess. Like, like it doesn't matter what happens to us after that. You know? How does us dying ruin everything? What aren't you telling us? That's a good question. The world doesn't stay saved if you die. Oh, That's stupid. And if the world isn't saved, 
then that means she isn't dead. Mm, okay. Okay. It's raining. It wasn't raining last time or the time before that or the whole the whole path is different. Uh, we haven't talked enough about how different this place is. Wasn't it different last time? Uh, what happens if we don't go to the cabin? We know that. Whatever happens next time or next, it seems like all our answers are in that cabin. We might as well see this through. This is different. Yes, things are different, aren't they? Yeah, but we if this isn't know the that. same path in the woods you're used to, that means that her influence is already spreading and you're running out of time. Really? That's an interesting take. Her uh, influence? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. It means exactly what I said. Don't overthink it or you run the risk of making your task so much more difficult than it has to be. And what is that supposed to mean? Forget I said anything. I've probably already made things worse, and I need to stop talking about this now before I definitely make things worse. Bruh, you can't fucking fuck things up as hard Come as I on, am. Tell so. us your secrets. Haven't we been through enough? Don't we deserve to know? Yeah, we do. No. Okay. Is there a reason it would be raining? If there is, it doesn't matter. If a bit of rain is the best her influence can conjure, then we have nothing to worry about. A drenched corpse is still a corpse. <laughs> very, uh, very poetic, this man. Uh, we know what happens. Let's just go. I'm sure you've already heard my words of warning in one of your past lives. You've already managed to slay her once, just don't muck it up this time, all right? We'll see, dude. What we do is entirely up to us. Well, it's entirely up to me, personally. Not uh, not that you guys have, have any control. Oh, well, the, okay, the unravel. narrator does have some Isn't control. Right? Yep. You aren't here to solve a mystery. You're here to save the world. Wrong. That's what you say. But how can we be sure? We can't be sure of anything except what's right in front of us. See, that's probably the truest statement <laughs> I've seen so far in this game. Okay, but we should care about the fate of the world. I mean, no. Why? Yeah. Because, because we should. I, I don't know. It's important. Is it? Is it? Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> this guy is me and I hate it! Oh! <laughs> yes! Uh, I think. For all we know, the world you're talking about isn't even real. True. Of course it's real. Where do you think you are? Somewhere else? I mean, exactly. That's exactly where we are. We literally- we've jumped like six fucking timelines here. Maybe we are. This is horribly unproductive. The cabin and your extremely important destiny await. Proceed to the cabin. As soon as you enter the oh, cabin, what you're the struck fuck? by an overwhelming scent of decay, of mold and death and stagnant water. The once stately wooden building is bloated, its beams dripping with a black ooze of putrefaction, all but the exterior stone walls warped beyond recognition. It must have been beautiful once, but in its ruin, it is beyond repulsive. But you're not alone. You can feel something watching you. There is a figure faintly outlined against the rotting wood of the wall. That's the queen, dude! Uh, is that her? It's like she isn't even there. See, we killed her. You're right. Maybe she doesn't reset like us. She certainly doesn't look the same as she did last time. Before you can oh, make a move, okay. the figure is gone, vanishing behind the door on the far side of the room. The door at the end of the room, but there isn't a door. It's just that damn mirror again. Yes, the mirror that he can't see. 
a mirror? Is this some kind of joke? Did you all plan this out before dying? There is no mirror. There's the door to the basement, the table, and the pristine blade. Huh. That's strange. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there I was a pristine about to say. blade? Maybe it's gone because we've already killed her with it. But we had it with us when we died. And besides, everything else has reset. Why wouldn't the blade have reset too? Yeah, interesting. Maybe it's because we've already explored that avenue. We've seen what happens when we slay her. Maybe this place has decided we don't need to try that again. <laughs> now this dude's metagaming. <laughs> He's just like, hey, uh, you kind of did what I you should. it doesn't should. matter why the blade is gone, but you're going to have to find it if you're going to do this right. So why don't you march over to that door and make your way down to the basement? If this is anything like last time, the mirror will disappear as soon as we try and touch it. I'm sure the door is just behind it. We know You're this. You're clearly hallucinating, but I'd rather not get into it with you right now. The door to the basement is on the far side of the room, whether you can see it or not. Okay. I think we're going to call it there for today, but holy crap. What a fucking... I can't believe I killed that girl right off the bat. Uh, that scene cutting her arm off was so disturbing. And uh, yeah, okay. This game's uh, getting somewhere for real. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely way more interesting than I thought it was gonna be when I, when I wanted to play this, but God damn, am I loving it. Uh, I hope you are too, who knows? I'll see you in the next one.